Hi guys, how are you going? Today is a quick video, which is very impromptu. Um, I'm going to have to be honest with you. I have spent the last two days reading, watching videos, writing, um, and just feeling this sort of, I don't know, it's almost like, I'm not usually like this. I'm, I'm very much a doer. And in the last 48 hours, I've just felt stagnated like I can't move I can't action anything and I'm just feeling yeah just a little bit overwhelmed and so I've sort of been having my head in um, some esoteric writings and reading more about the Kabbalah and just trying to figure out how I'm going to teach all of these things but not only that come to a realization that a lot of the teachers that I've been sort of following they're all Capricorns um, so if you're a Capricorn and you're watching this, you know, you, kudos to you guys because, look, there's a, there's a staying power that comes with being Capricorn that I, as a Gemini, just, I'm the worst student ever. Um, I tend to be jack of all, master of none. That is my MO. And so anyway, I'm just going to wrap this video up quickly with my quick reading um, because... I wanted to connect and when I need to connect with a serious answer I always go to my hermetic deck and um, these three cards I was shuffling and shuffling and then the first one flew out and then I was shuffling and shuffling and the next one flew out and then the third um, because this is just a quick reading and I've realized that being an air sign I mean these are two Libran cards in the center of the ten of pentacles I just need to balance my brain I think that's the message I'm trying to get from this, um, from Spirit today, because King of Swords is about mastery and it's air, you know, air energy. But also at the centre here, you know, I've got an abundance of knowledge. I've got an abundance of a legacy here that I need to pass down. Um, you know, I'm not crying poor at the moment, but at the same time, I need to obviously work out how I'm going to stay, um, you know, sustainable with my own business, because Working in the occult and being um, a mystic, it's not exactly, you don't walk into a six-figure salary by doing that. And that's not the reason why I'm doing this. This is sort of like a long, uh, a long going to be a long journey for me. But I know that in the end, um, there will be justice for me. There will be this balance um, and I will sort of have that beautiful um, restoration. Um, I feel that really strongly. And anyway, look, I know this um, video probably wasn't... Um, you know, directed at anyone in particular. This is sort of more of a, I guess, uh, you know, just sharing my uh, my thoughts over the last couple of days. We've got a, um, a conjunction at the moment. I think it's with Saturn and Uranus in Aquarius. And that's today or yesterday, the 4th of the 4th. So, yeah, even being the 4th of the 4th, it's all just very solid, stagnant. There's no movement. Um, and for me... It is about restoration, but at the same time, it's kind of, oh, I just need things to flow. So I'll get there. Um, I hope you guys are really well. I, I, you know, I've been so busy over the weekend. It was lovely to meet all of you who managed to get a reading at the expo on the weekend. Um, and if you're around this weekend, I've got a couple of gigs on, actually. I'm going to be in Echuca on Saturday from uh, late morning till 8 p.m. It's the last Twilight Market in Echuca at Hopwood Gardens. And then on Sunday, there is a Mystic Fair uh, in Kilmore, which is an hour from where I live. Um, and that's also going to be on from 10 till 4. So again, you know, there's only limited spots during the day. So if you do know, you want to come and see me specifically, come over to my table straight away. Please write your name down um, so you can get on the list and we'll catch up and do a reading. So anyway, guys, have a fantastic rest of the week. Uh, you might see some more random stuff from me coming through. Um, but I hope you're all well and staying safe and I'm sending you all lots of love. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.